<laughs> Hello YouTubers! Today we're gonna open box of the the one anyone can learn to fly. So Delta Ray One. The one anyone can learn to fly. And most important is this thing here. Under 250 grams. That's very good because it says 500 millimeters, that's 50 centimeters, 422 length, that's a wingspan, 120 to 135 grams. And that's good because let's see what's inside. See? If you, this is a little bit cheating, so I did open it before, as you can see. But it's the way how it looks when you open it, right? Kind of. You have to cut these things, right? It's perfectly protected. Of course, you have to take the remote first. I took a <coughs> opportunity to already install the four A batteries. They came with this, with this thing. And it's very, really nice. has that extra channel has one two three position and has that extra channel for the gps option has <clears throat> it's already pre-bound with factory but you have information how it's done this is really nice case the model looks very very nice what's the advantage of this model it has even the rubbery nose here, so in case you hit something, it's going to give you some. Advantage of Delta Wing is because it's a pusher, and I love this option because before it was very, very hard to find one with a folding prop in this size and this, this light. Uh, it has a pusher configuration, so it's not going to damage. It's really nice cut. Through the air, it's not gonna be damaged if if you if you hit the ground or something. It has a very very thick profile, so it is basically you can fly faster, but it's meant for the beginner. So it has these kind of breaks in the leading edge and these dividers here, which should keep the lift together, not flying away. So it's designed for beginners and it's de designed for 250 grams because new regulation even here in Canada. <clears throat> you have to register anything what flies over 250 grams. Yeah, I opted for the option. So that's magnetic, we hold, and you have extension here. I opted for the option with the GPS. That cabin is held just by the by the pressure. So inside, see, it's not magnetic. It's more mechanical. There's a thing here. I opted for this thing, so basically that's a GPS, whole unit is 9 grams, that's how it looks. And they said you need to, to use a double sided tape to put it underneath and all the way down, but I don't think it's kind of good because it's, uh, I wanted to have antenna, not in front, but basically detached and put double sided tape like this on top of everything. And instead of doing it like this, I just press it like here, open this one a little bit and press it inside. And it's perfectly nice. I think it's good. No glue, no nothing, you can remove it and it's connected here. It's connected through here through this extension and actually cable which is already <clears throat> pre-arranged for that option. I wanted to have that option. And battery, when you put the battery with the GPS, GPS option or module, you have to kind of put the battery way behind because uh, GPS is on front and then you put the battery behind. That's the 280 milliamps 2S 7.4, the battery. Without GPS, of course, battery has to be front in order to achieve 
CG, which is, uh, they say, 60 to 68 millimeters from brick in the leading edge here. So if you put your fingers here, it should be working fine. See, oops, slippery. But it should be, should be working very fine. Inside. Yeah. And it comes, this is a ready to fly version, comes with a charger, and AC thing, it's good for 100 and 240 volts, 12 volts, 1200 milliamps, it's a nice charger if you don't have, so basically it comes with everything, with remote, with a plane, very light, very nice plane, Six channel remote with a special button for the GPS if you choose that option. If not, everything is so nice. Everything, everything. Let's let's make sure how much is the weight. This is my trusty old old German made stuff. So if you put it together with the with the battery inside. Yeah, it shows 120 grams. That's perfect. So, 120. So you still, if you want a FPV or something, you still have plenty of room for it. Okay, we're gonna just grab the remote. And of course, it's meant for the complete beginners. So first, turn that thing on, move it, they say about 90 centimeters away. Actually, I've thought about this. That's the price I paid. $191 for the model. $59 for the Delta Ray GPS unit. And that's the thing. So it's an EFL9512 with a small antenna. Right? And of course, because I cheated already a little bit, on the bottom of the styrofoam thing, there is a thick, an English, French, German, Big uh, manual, and uh, this is the most important page for me because I had the trouble uh, when I first it was bound. I found the compass calibration trouble because it's not really trouble, but if the uh, the ailerons go up and down, like when you go up, one up, one down, after GPS lock, uh, you have to calibrate. So you put it like this, make one second full turn and then make 90 degrees and do this twice put it down shut the transmitter off wait three seconds and then remove the battery that's the calibration process and if you don't have any problem that's the only time you're gonna have to calibrate that that's explained really really nice on the page 32 if you don't follow that and you want to use the gps unit it's gonna it's gonna be some trouble because you have to fully understand how it works. So now we're gonna to try to to demonstrate how it works with the GPS uh, GPS uh, uh, module installed. Uh, this cables are a little, a little bit inside. Uh, my, my fingers are too kind of thick for that, but eventually I'm gonna get it. So, you keep it fairly apart. Uh, okay. You can move out so see what's going on. You shouldn't be touching it. It goes up and down slowly because it's searching for the satellite. When it locks satellite, it's gonna just do... Let's move it here. So now it's searching for the satellites and it's inside the room. The windows is closed and that's antenna. Takes a little bit longer maybe because it's still not outside. Hmm. Come on. Oh, okay, so 
a little bit longer. Oh, now maybe it started to initialize because now you see the light, red light blinking. Oh, uh, or because it's outside, look at the Canadian winter. Let's just try one more time again. So make sure that you put the, this thing down, throttle completely down. Off, on. Put this inside, don't move it anymore. Oh, it blinks immediately. Hmm, it did work. Before, because if you start, if it doesn't lock, right? If you start anything, it's not gonna work because it, it has to first lock the satellites. After a couple of times, I found the perfect spot. So hopefully it's gonna work now. After a couple of unsuccessful, unsuccessful tries, this is all the way down. I'm not gonna touch it from this position because I found that it's gonna work last time work here. So I'm just gonna leave it. And it's gonna go into that position when it goes up and down, cycle the elevi uh, elevons up and down in order to search for the satellites and lock it. When it locks it, just moves it faster and locks it. Hopefully it's gonna work a little bit faster now. I didn't touch the plane, so it likes that position because it's pretty cloudy and it's snowing here. It's minus 17 here in Calgary, Canada, Alberta. Come on, there you go. It moves it four times and it's locked. So that's just a demonstration how it works. So it has locked satellites. You put it here, of course. You want to check that your CG is working fine. See, CG is perfect. This code, if you look at that small thing, Card. Card tells you that now it's not going to accept the throttle. See, it's going to work here, but it's not going to accept the throttle. Why? Because you didn't put the home button. You put it down upwind, the way, and you move and you press this button for three seconds. And now it Learn the home position. Now it's going to accept the throttle. See? It's going to accept the throttle and it's going to accept the motion. Right? Left, right, right, left, right, left, up, down, and throttle. And it has a nice stabilization. And you can start it in the beginner mode with a, a lot of stabilization. With a little bit less stabilization here and all the way like first one beginner mode it's a green second one actually first one but the second one is a green and red and the red is when you don't have any stabilization you have the AS, AS3 stabilization but it's not gonna limit you any any left or right so you're gonna, you're gonna do whatever you want to do and of course you start like this Oh, you can start it like this. Still away from your hand. I think I'm gonna just start it normally. Like this. Eh, it's safer to hold it for a wing tip and just go. And go. Right, left, up, 
down, up, down. One more thing, if you press here, it blinks, so it limits the throw to 70%, right? If you press this button all the way, it's solid, that means you have a full motion, you have 100% motion of the elevators. And of course, drop it. This is really nice, it's soft brake, so you need to have a brake, otherwise propeller will be spinning, and then in order to have a folding position. And after successful flight, of course you're going to remove the battery first, and then cut the power to, set to the sender on German transmitter. I like it, I didn't fly it yet, but I'm just waiting for weather to cooperate better and nicer. But I love it, actually, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is the green card, so you can check. It's kind of plasticky. And that's it. Hopefully the weather is gonna cooperate better and I'm gonna show you how it flies. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks.